hello guys and welcome back so as i told you that from our next videos we will be making our game multiplayer okay so for making our game multiplayer first of all we need to create a method in which we will be instantiating all of the players inside this scene okay so let me tell you how we will do that if we open up the game scene okay here is the player what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this uh, player a prefab okay and where we will do that we will create a new folder in the assets folder by the name of resources and guys make sure that you name this one resources as well and it is inside the assets folder or you can say the main project folder okay because when we are instantiating something in a multiplayer game using photon pun then we have to have this resources folder okay and then whatever we want to instantiate or you can say spawn then we can add that in this resources folder okay so in here we're gonna create another folder by the name of uh, photon prefabs and in here i'm gonna drag and drop my player okay or you can say i'm gonna make a prefab of my player okay if you double click on it let me first of all check that if there is no empty references okay for example this one so drag and drop the player animator i think this reference is added automatically okay so we don't have to drag and drop it but i did okay let me check other ones okay everything is attached okay so now once you drag and drop it inside the resources okay you can either drag and drop it inside just the resources folder but i have created photon prefabs so that i can add all of my uh, prefabs which will be using the photon pun online system okay so let me delete this now and let me tell you how we will do everything so now as you can see this is our uh, player controller okay because on this we have all of the inputs all of the jumping movement and everything and shooting as well okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna create an empty game object by the name of room manager and what this room manager will be used for it will be used for spawning player manager okay or you can say player controller manager okay so let me create that one as well player controller manager so now what we will do this room manager will instantiate the player controller and in the player controller we will be uh, controlling all of the things that are related to our uh, multiplayer system for example uh, spawning the player and then when the player dies in the game then respawning the player and also if our player kills another player okay or another player kills our player then we're gonna keep track of that in our player controller manager okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a component to first of all to our room manager which is by the name of photon view okay when you add this make sure that you make the view id of the room manager as 999 because this room manager should have a view id automatically attached and that value should be a higher value so that it doesn't get duplicate with our uh, player controller uh, photon view view id okay so once you add that there then click on player controller manager and right here at the same photon view component and then you can leave this one as it is okay and also click on player controller manager click on 
a photon prefabs and drag and drop this one right in here okay we will be adding a script to this but for now let's just delete that as well now because we already have the prefab now inside resources and photon prefabs okay now let's go ahead and create a script in here by the name of room manager okay and drag and drop this script right here after this let's open this up and in here now we will be instantiating the player manager uh, prefab for all of the players okay for our own player and for the other players that joins the room and when the game starts okay so first of all let's make an instance of the room manager so we're gonna say public static room manager instance okay after this what we're gonna do is in here we're gonna say if the instance then we're gonna say destroy game object and then we're gonna say return but if this is not the case then we're gonna say don't destroy on load game object okay and then after this we're gonna say instance equals to this so now what this means right here we are checking if another room manager exists okay so if it exists then we are simply destroying that room manager because there can only be one room manager inside our scene okay or you can say inside our game that is it and if there is only one room manager then as you know that we say don't destroy and load uh, which means that we now have just only one room manager and also at the top make sure that you type using photon dot pun and that is it after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a method which is by the name on enable okay and we actually need to type public override void on enable okay and in this what we're gonna do we're gonna say scene manager dot scene load actually loaded plus equals to on scene loaded okay and also type that then after this we're gonna create a on disable method and this should be a public override void as well okay and in here we're gonna just copy that paste it right here instead of on enable we're gonna say on disable And in here we're gonna say scene manager dot scene loaded minus equals to on scene loaded. Alright, once you do this, then after this we're gonna create another method in which we will be uh, when we are uh, in the we're gonna check that if we are in the game scene, then we're gonna instantiate a player manager for all of the players that were in the room. Okay, so we're gonna say on scene loaded and this method gonna require a scene and then a load scene mode. Let's name this as load scene mode as well. And in here we're gonna first of all check that if the scene 
built index is one and as you know on one index we have the uh, game scene setup okay so if that is the case then let's go ahead and instantiate the player controller manager for all of the players okay so instantiate then we're gonna say path dot combine and as you know that they are inside the photon prefabs and its name is you check the photon prefab prefabs its name is uh, player controller manager so we're gonna say player controller manager okay and uh, right here we can uh, set up the spawn point for our player but as you know that for now we don't have the teaming system so we can't add the spawning system i mean the spawn points right now so what we're gonna do we just gonna spawn our player at vector 3.0 so zero will mean xyz and then we're gonna say quatronian dot identity okay and as you know that we are dealing with uh, the scenes so make sure that now at the top you add this other package which is unity engine dot scene management also add one other package which is system dot io and make this room manager class mono behavior pun callbacks right right here at double equal sign and that should fix this issue and when that is gone if you click on room manager this is as you can see our room manager script already attached now what we're gonna do now is we can change our scene to menu then go ahead and build the game and then start the game from here let's create a room we have one player let's find this room and let's start the game and when you start the game as you can see game uh, scene is loaded for now we don't have any camera so that's why it is showing this okay but once we instantiate our player controller then we will be having cameras okay but now as you can see when we start the game it created this two player controller manager and as you can see one of the controller manager is ours as you can see is mine is true and also we were the master client so it is showing master okay and the other one is the other player okay this player so as you can see right here it is showing is minus false and it is not the ma uh, master client okay so now as you can see we can uh, instantiate the game manager and it means that our game is now a multiplayer now in the next video we're gonna continue our work on this